Welcome to Movies in a Few Minutes. If you're new here, consider subscribing. A young teenage girl, Miriam, lives a simple and disciplined life, spending much of her time with her bestie, Dina. However, in Al Rawabi School for Girls, Miriam and other docile students are constantly bullied by a trio gang of elite students. Leon Murat Fathi, Rukaya, and Rania never miss a chance to insult or offend other students. But due to a professional enmity between Mariam and Leon, Mariam becomes the prime target of the bully group. The series starts as Leon bunks school and sneaks off the school bus to meet her boyfriend. While other students turn a blind eye towards her actions due to fear, Mariam reveals the information to Principal Miss Fountain to teach Leon a necessary lesson. Though, as soon as Leon gets to know about Mariam's snitching, Leon and her gang confront Mariam. In anger, the bullies push Mariam on the street and she procures severe injury on her head. In the parents' teachers' assembly, Miriam hides the facts as she doesn't want to further stretch the topic. Leon, in her cunning persona, takes the blame and manipulates the incident as per her own accord. The parents, Miss Faden, and other students support Leon in her tactics, and Miriam is cornered. Miriam's mother refuses to listen or believe her plea. The new student, Nof, who was an eyewitness to the event, keeps her mouth shut. After suffering mental trauma and stress, Miriam takes revenge on Leon and her two minions, Rukaya and Rania, in the most ruthless way. Miriam's friends, Dina and new student, Nof, help her in her cause of vengeance. Miriam swore to take revenge on the bully girls one by one, and her first target was Rukaya. Nof and Miriam created a fake ID named Tarek on Facebook. Miriam started talking to Rukaya, who was the only one in her group without a boyfriend. Miriam requested Rukaya's picture without a scarf at the girls' open day charity event and sent it the school's group chat. The scarf is the emblem of purity in their religion, and Rukaya's family were traditionalists. Thus, under family pressure, Rukaya had to leave school. The second bully, Rania, met her fate on the school trip. Nof, Leon, and Rania broke the night curfew to meet their boyfriends in a disco near the hotel. Miriam informed Ms. Abir about it and Reina was caught wearing revealing clothes. She was underage for entering a nightclub, and thus her abusive father was informed about the incident. Rania had bruises when she arrived at the school after a week. Nof and Dina tried to convince Miriam to stop as they now thought that the water was going over the bridge. But Miriam had a scar that wasn't going to heal so quickly, for the last act of revenge, she targeted Leon. It was all fun and frolic until no one was hurt, but with Rania, things got pretty serious. It was high time, Dina and Nof understood the gravity and were able to foresee the turn of events. They tried their best to stop Miriam, but a burning eye cannot fathom such philosophy. It demands fulfillment, and that's what Miriam received in the end. Leon bunked the school as usual to meet her boyfriend, Laith. They went to Laith's farmhouse, also geotagged as Laith Bachelor Pad. Miriam extracted the location and necessary information from Laith's Instagram profile while stalking Leon. Later, she texted the location to Leon's brother, Hazem informing him about Leon's absence from school. Ms. Abir unknowingly called Leon's parents to school and told them about her constant skipping from school. Miriam and Ms. Abir were both unaware of the upcoming tragedy. It was established earlier that Leon's brother, Hazem, handled his father's dirty business and thus flaunted a gun to threaten people. When Hazem reached Leith's farmhouse, he found Leon's school dressed drying outside. 
In a conservative society, a woman's purity can either build or ruin a family's image. Hazem thought that Leon had taken a step that would probably wreck their image, and thus he didn't hesitate to take a shot. But whom did Hazem kill? Director Tima Shimala ended the series without revealing the earth-shattering reality of society. The camera captured Leon's and Leith's drying clothes outside the house when the gunshot was heard. He probably would have killed Leon or Leith or both, but that's not the point of discussion at all. The critical message portrayed through the last trolley shot on the drying clothes underlined that clothes decide a woman's fate in some societies. She can't live life on her own accords, and men with guns coerce them to live a certain way. It was Rukaya's scarf that enraged her parents, and then it was Reina's clothes that resulted in domestic abuse. Even with Leon, Close acted as a prominent catalyst leading to a tragic cliffhanger. An end shot revealed that Leith was Principal Miss Fadden's son. A simple act of revenge ruined so many lives. Was it worth it in the end? Was Miriam to blame for the mess? I guess. For a person burning with vengeance, it's hard for them to put themselves in others' shoes and understand their condition. Both Leon and Miriam fail to understand this, and thus their actions lead to a tragic end. In the end, Miriam had a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction because she accomplished her revenge. But at that precise moment, when she flaunted a slice smile before the screen faded out, she was unaware that her actions lead to the death of an individual. When the revelations would strike her conscience, it would either ruin her sanity and push her into a depth of despair, but if that didn't happen, Miriam would ultimately transform into a nemesis.